Hi everyone, hope all is well with you. This is Chandani. So my video today is about Linden, uh, region 10. And it's such a beautiful town. And I just wanna show you around a bit. So sit back, relax and enjoy. <laughs> So Linden is in region 10, which is Upper Demerara, Upper Burbies, and is the second largest town in Guyana after Georgetown. Linden was declared a town in 1970, and it includes the communities of Mackenzie, Christianburg, and Wismer. So there we are passing the Linden Fire Station. Linden lies on the Demerara River. And this is the bauxite mining plant, which is Bosai Minerals Group Guyana. BMGG. We're approaching the market area now. That's Citizen Bank on the left hand side. Um, we're gonna go all the way, all the way up. I think there is the Linda Museum. Uh, I think it's somewhere on this this road. Maybe I'm wrong, but we're just gonna look out for it. I, I can't remember. Uh, maybe I missed it. I don't know. But yeah.
So we're gonna continue driving a little more. And is that a rainbow up ahead? Very nice. I hope you're enjoying the ride. Yes, it started raining. The rain was actually in and out all day. So this is the bauxite mining area. This is where they store the bauxite and then they take it over to the plant, which I showed you earlier. So this is basically the storage area. So here we are heading to the Mackenzie Bridge and then you'll get to see the Demerara River. But the bridge is not as long as the Demerara Harbour Bridge. The rain came down a lot. So here we're passing through the railroad yard and there are two locomotives, stationary locomotives, on your right-hand side. This is where they are kept. But I'm going to tell you a little more when we get back this side. Uh, we're heading to the bridge now. And it's raining, it's not so clear. Hopefully when we get back, it might be a bit uh, brighter, the rain might not be falling. So when we get back, I'll tell you about it. But opposite there, it's the Watuka um, guest house. So um, you'll get to see that when we head back this way. So we continue our journey and we're reaching the bridge very soon. Here we're passing the Linden Hospital.
So here we are approaching the toll boot and uh, it's the pay the toll to get over the bridge. It was 80 Guyana dollars. That's the beautiful Damara River. So this is the Damara River and those are boats that work from uh, from this side to the other side to go across. And this is actually a faster means to get across the river for some people. And um, they have six boat landings. So this is one and then they, it follows down the river. So um, I just wanted to stop and see how beautiful it is and the calmness of the water, as you can see, and how they the sky is like reflecting on the water, really beautiful. So we just spent a, f a few minutes here looking around and I waited for the other boat to come across. And then we, we, we carried on to the water wheel. It's on the same path um, further up. So just stick with us. So here we continued on our journey and then we're going to stop at the monument, the water wheel. This is the Christianberg water wheel and just a little history on it. In the 18th century, uh, an engineer installed this very large iron wheel as a prime mover for his sawmill and equipment. However, after some years, the sawmill was dismantled, but the water wheel remained as a monument and as a reminder of our nation's history. 
and it's located next to Wisma in Linen. So this steel arch was gifted to the residents of Linden by the Bauxite Company, Bauxite Minerals uh, Group Company, which is BMGG. So now we're heading back to the, the locomotives. The rain cleared up, so we're going to stop, take some pictures, and I'll tell you a little history on that. Here we are taking some pics. Well, the girls are taking some pics. And the locomotives, uh, some decades ago, um, and the, the ore cars traversed the railways, plying precious bauxite from mining sites to the bauxite plant. And now it has become a tourist attraction. So this is the Watuka guest house and we didn't go in because they had a function happening and we just didn't want to crash the party. So um, 
And hopefully when we get back there another time, we'll get to go in. But I read it, it it's really nice inside. It has a swimming pool. It has a riverfront uh, deck, um, two bars, a uh, restaurant. So it'll be exciting the next time to come back and see that. And hopefully I'll get to show you. So here we are heading back out now. Uh, this is the bauxite plant again we're passing. But now we're, we're leaving Linden. We're gonna leave now to head back up the highway and to head home. The journey continues. So I would like to mention that I didn't get to see the Blue Lake in Linden because the road we had to take to go down, the, it was um, bad because of the rain and we didn't want to get stuck. So the next time we come to Linden, we'll try our best to go there and to visit the guest house, like I told you, so we can get to do some videoing of that. and. Hopefully you guys would get to see what it is.